Hello everyone, welcome back to Shortcode. Today we will be going through all the solutions for videos 5 to 10. I will be giving away the solution to the big challenge set last video in the next video. If you haven't seen that video, I will link a playlist in the description. Okay, let's get programming. Okay, so... Here we can see all the solutions. So first let's go through the episode 5 solutions. So the first challenge was create three if statements that prove true depending on a variable being equal to a number. Variable 1 equals 3, we're just setting up some variables here. If var1 equals 3, print var1 equals 3. If var2 equals 5, print var2 equals 5. If var3 equals 7, print var3 equals 7. As you can see, var1 is equal to 3, so when we run it, it will print- oh, just ignore all this stuff. These are for challenges later. It does print var1. Oh. It does print var1 equals 3. Var2 equals 5, because var2 equals 5 up here. And then var3 equals 7. It prints var3 equals 7, because var3 is set to 7 up here. Okay, on to the second challenge. Create an if and else statement that proves true or false. So, as you can see, Let's just close this. So if var1 plus var2 equals 8, print true, else print false. So 3 plus 5 equals 8, so it should print true. Yeah, as you can see, true. And then finally, 5-3, uh, create an if, elif, and else statement that proves true or false. If var2 plus var3 equals 15, print 15 var2, so 5 plus 7, that's not 15, so it will just skip over this. elif var2 plus var3 equals 12, print 12, else print none. So var2, 5 plus 7 equals 12, so it will print 12 when we run it. As you can see, 12. So it has skipped this first if statement because it's not true and it moves on to this elif statement, it sees that this statement is true, so it prints 12. And it never even touches this elf statement, because it's already detected that elif statement above it is true, so it just ignores the elf statement. Okay, so episode 6 challenges. The first one was create an if statement comparing two variables to see if they are not equal. So if var1 does not equal var2, print var1 does not equal var2. So if var1 does not equal var2, if 3 does not equal 5, print 3 does not equal 5. Run it. Let's move up. Yeah, 6, 3 does not equal 5. Number 2, create an if and else statement comparing two variables to see if one is greater than the other. So, if var2 is greater than var3, print var2 is greater than var3, else print var2 is, isn't greater than var3. So, if 5 is greater than 7, print 5 is greater than 7. If it isn't, print 5 isn't greater than 7. So let's run it. As you can see here, 5 isn't greater than 7. So, challenge 3 on episode 6 was create an if, elif, and else statement comparing two variables to see if one is greater than another. The elif statement should check if one is less than the other. As you can see, I've made a typo. Let's just turn that back so it's actually less than. So, if var1 is greater than var2, so if 3 is greater than 5, print 3 is greater than 5. If var3 is less than var1, so if 7 is less than 3, print var3 is less than var1, print 7 is less than 3. If the if statement is false and the elif statement is false, let's just move on to this else statement and print none. So when we run it, it prints out none. Video 7 challenges. So the first one was create an if statement to check if a boolean value is true or false. So boolean 1 equals true. If bool 1, print true. What this if bool 1 is doing is just a short way of saying if bool 1 is true, but what we can do is just change it, shorten it to just if bool 1. 
you can see it's true. So, challenge two, create an if and else statement to check if a boolean value is true or false. If not, run the else statement. So, bool2 equals false. If bool2, print true. Else, print false. You can see it prints false because bool2 is not true, so it'll ignore this top one and just move right on to the else statement. And then the third one, create an integer and use the bool function to check if it is true or not. So int1 equals 4, it's just an integer variable. And then print bool int1. It prints true because as long as a value isn't 0, it'll always prove true. As long as an integer isn't 0, it'll always prove true. So int1 equals 4. 7-3, you can see it's true, but if we change it to 0, it's false. Episode 8, create a string variable and cast it to an integer and print it out. A little hint, the string must be numbers only. String 1 equals 5, and then print string 1, but as an integer. So if you run it, you get 5. You would get an error if you just had some text and you tried to convert it to an integer. As you can see, invalid literal for int with base 10, which basically saying you can't convert text to an integer. You can only convert a string when it's a number inside the string. So let's just change that back to 5. The challenge 2, create an integer variable, cast it to a string and concatenate it with another string and print it. int1 equals 7, print string the string version of int1 plus hello so what this does is it just says 7 hello because it's converted it into a string so string int1 is the same as 7 and hello so if we put it back to what it was it's just the same as that so it's just concatenating the strings together to get 7 hello. And then challenge 3, create a float variable and cast it to an integer and print it out. So float1 is equal 6.3, print out the integer version of that, and as you can see, it's just 6 because it just rounds it down from 6.3 to 6 because it can't deal with decimals. Okay, episode 9, have a variable equals 4, then use a modulus assignment operator with a number of your choice and then print it out. So my var equals 4, my var modulus equals 2, print my var, so let's run it. Equals 0 because 4 divided by 2 leaves no remainder, which is 0, and then we're assigning that 0 number to my var and then printing my var, which is 0. Okay, challenge 2. Have a variable of your choice and use the indices and floor division on it with numbers of your choice. So my var equals 7. My var star star equals 2. 7 times 7 equals 49. And then my var equals 49. And then 49 divided by 6 rounded down is 8. And then we're, uh, we're assigning 8 to my var. Then on 9.2, we're printing 8. Okay. Challenge 3. So have a variable, go through each assignment operator with the first operand being the variable and the second operand being free. See what happens. So we're just going through all of the assignment operators, starting off with 5, adding 3, minusing 3, timesing it by 3, divided it, dividing it by 3, uh, getting the remainder, performing indices on it, floor dividing it. And then you can see the answer is 2.0. Finally, episode 10, create an if statement checking if the weather is cold and wet. If so, print out the weather isn't very nice. So I've just got a variable called temperature or temp equals cold. Humidity, I don't even know if that's the right word or not, but it's wet. If temp equals cold and humidity equals wet, print the weather isn't very nice. Challenge 2. Create an if statement checking if the time is midday or midnight. If it is, print out it is 12 o'clock. Time equals midday. If it is, if time equals midday or time equals midnight, print out it is 12 o'clock. So it could be either midday or midnight. 
if we just run it you can see we get it's 12 o'clock but if we change this to midnight it will still print out it's 12 o'clock because it can be either midday or midnight it doesn't matter which whereas with this one it needs to be both cold and wet it can't be cold or wet so if we change this to dry we're just not going to get anything so it needs to be wet it needs to be cold and wet for it to print out this so finally challenge three create an if statement checking if it is not day if so print out it is night time so day equals false if not day print it is night so what it's doing is it's just reversing the day boolean value which is false so it reverses it equals true if true print it is night run it hang on let me just bring this down a bit it is night so if we change this to true we don't get anything because if not day it is actually day so it won't print out anything so this is just a this if not day it's basically just saying if day equals false change it to false it is night okay that's all the challenges from videos 5 to 10 it was quite a lot of challenges um next video will be the solution to the big challenge so that's all for today guys if you have any questions or errors about the solutions in this video make sure to leave them in the comments below i'll be sure to help you out if you enjoyed make sure to drop a like it helps me out a lot please consider subscribing it's completely free it doesn't cost anything so that's all from me thanks for watching goodbye